Hey guys, how's it going? Redmaster here. Ranked with Red, the Piss Zoo, February 2021. Let's jump into it. Alright, jumping into game number one here. Not a bad start, I would say, to open us up here. Uh, Lumberjack, Spiny Blacksmith, all doing some funny things, I imagine. Up against Warlock Crusader. Oh boy. Now, for reference, I am filming this right after I finished my Red Zoo recording, so... For some reason, I'm just running into a lot of yellow-red today, and I just have no idea why. I mean, I guess that's the flavor of the day today. Doesn't make me feel any better about it, though, considering it is just red-yellow, and red-yellow can do stinky things like plop craxis or be a nuisance. Alright, there goes the lumberjack. Ooh, wizard. I'll take that. Uh, we'll get the wish it out, start that, uh, and so we'll get that doing some funny things. Uh, we could do a dangerous bestial rage spiny play in the next turn for this wizard if we want to just be real assholes about it. Nope, we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing that. Yeah? Why do you, why, why, why? Ay, 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 alright, well... I'm just gonna go for the Rage Spiny here. I don't want to really lose anything due to that uh, Priest attack, so I'm just gonna go for the Rage to kind of keep our Spiny a little bit more healthier. See if he can do a 3-1 better without wasting a valuable card in hand. I don't think he can, can he? That's yeah, questioning that. I don't do things for him, I guess. Alright, that'll be... Ooh, uh... I think that's our cue for flying books, to be honest. I need some more cards in hand. Itch my nose, too, while I'm at it. Okay, going to the metal. Is he really going to go for a dragon's fire this early? No, okay, paladin. Ooh, paladin actually kind of... Mm, I don't know how I feel about paladin right now. Maybe because I don't have the clear response to deal with it right now. So maybe that's why. Um... Eh, do I want to go into a lore master or do I want to set up like an armory first? You know, I think I, I think I do set up an armory first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Armory goes first. Armory to play around Dragon's Fire. That's the play. That's the move. Unless he burns armory, kills off the books, and then forces me to deal with it. But I don't know. He wasted a bolt on the wizard. going down. Come on, buddy. Don't leave me in suspense. Okay. Dual armories. Totally fine with that, to be honest. And then follow-up questing night as well. Ooh. Was not careful, though, about the armory placement. We connect into the paladin first get the buff there we chop down that there yeah you gotta be careful man you gotta be careful with that uh armory placement or the question he had a block potentially for this but question knight just got a little too aggressive and wanted to go up against the wolf directly where he should have just placed it one square higher to block for that um centaur coming in and taking away the armory I might cost him in the game, honestly, depending on how he proceeds with the following turns. And then you probably have to where I walk the question knight back. Yep, that's going to eliminate them. Okay. The knight of flowers. Ooh, alright. Uh, uh. 
Gonna opt for the wizard play here. I'll see if he's got something like Dragon's Fire to do some fun work, but we'll see. I mean, this should be interesting to see how he takes his turn. Because if we're looking at a lot of knights here, it's a good chance that there's gonna be some buffs like Flame Shield or Luminaris. Does Luminaris do him a lot here? Not really, because he can't reach the armory with a Luminaris strike. So we'd have to have like a cheap burn to get rid of the armory. But even then, that throws him off of a Luminaris cost for the turn. Eh, okay, all right. That no, doesn't throw him off Praxis though. This big asshole. <laughs> Oh, I hate him. I really do hate Craxus, bro. Hope the draw was worth it. That's the only one you're going to get. Should probably block, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I think what I do... I need lore master draw I really do so I need to start getting him out here and hopefully this get, creates a bigger target than the bear maybe focuses that more on the lore master I feel like I just need to do that what are we gonna see though what are we gonna see from you pill the white knight actually doesn't connect into the bear enough he needs something else Ooh, Prince, I'll do it. Prince is good. Word, word, okay. Hmm. Ooh, now this is troubling. Do I risk the Lore Master into a Luminaris to get rid of the... Uh... I think I have to in a way. I've got to risk the Luminaris play to try and get rid of Frog Prince for the reach of the Luminaris. He might try to buff up this White Knight. I don't advise it though, because if he can't get past a spirit link through some other means, hitting the wizard would be pointless. Which at 5 health, he'd have to invest quite a bit to get rid of that mana core. Uh, White Knight goes in, so probably Luminaris, right? Yeah, there it is. It's all good, my guy, but you're not going to get any sort of, uh, yeah, you're not going to get any healing off of that. Alrighty. Um, so let's go ahead and go into this, followed up with the Ramorous. I'll get rid of that. Move Manicore up, because why not? Same here with him. We'll just pass it back. Got to take it slower for now here, because we have a good board presence established. Probably run into a dragon's fire this turn, right? No, dark bender. Okay. Ooh, into a lore master. All right, that's fair. That's fair, man. Respect that. Um, I can go into what I call centaur bestial though. Centaur bestial is a really fun combination of cards here, where I just get rid of this entire back row, and you just cry because I also do this. I run the wizard in for five so i get the arbiter value in next turn and then i guess we just put you back here because why not there's not a whole lot that he can do i think against this so i think we end up walking away with game one right right come on you gotta give me game one okay lumberjack's gonna get rid of a spirit link here probably Yep, doing on the Ramorous too. Smart to get the draw going. Although down a gold because of it, so. 
All right, you could do something like an Arbiter maybe, but Arbiter doesn't solve the big issue of just having everything rush on board to end the game. Hands, no, people are packing in the hands this season. I like the inclusion. Hands is hands is really nice, man. I really gotta throw props to the card itself. It's just really nice to do some uh, cheap, well, cheap healing, big cheap healing. Uh, but I don't think it's gonna matter ultimately because I can just do this, and then the spiny is enough. We won't kill the white knight. We'll be respectful. Leave that guy on the board and just walk away with the win. So game number one, looking strong as always. Uh, well, yeah, no, I, I think that was a strong showing for the deck. But let's go ahead, jump into game number two, and see what that one's got for us. All right, jumping into game number two. Not a, not a bad hand. But it could be better. It could be better. Uh, that is worse. Oh, dear. Oh, no. This is worse. Oh, I feel... I feel horrible. Oh, no. Oh, well. Let's... Let's see what we can do. Let's... Let's see what we got. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. I mean... Okay, if we could survive up into our late game, we could be good. The problem is I think this deck that our opponent's running could be faster than ours. In a sense that, um, you know, it, it just works better. Or like, you know, he might have a better grip than us to start off his hand. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to be aggressive though. We're going to try and shut down a lot of things before they get going here. Like that weird Hassan play. I don't want to see a rat hovel. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Okay, questing. Interesting pull there. Uh, ooh, get the priest though, which is fine. I guess I'll go for face damage, why not? There's no harm in doing that at this point. And the next turn we'll set up a lore master. I wanted the early aggro to kind of push our opponent off of the companions, which ugh, might not work for us too well now, because we've got... Uh, ooh, you know what? We'll do a little bit of a trade here. Burn away the scout. Interesting cards that we're seeing from our opponent here. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure how the matchmaker made this one, but okay. Coin questing knight armory. That's that seems fine, my guy. I'm gonna be honest. That seems like a fair play. Um, let's just try to protect our lore master here for some draw. Um, seems like the only play I can do here. And hope that we're not going to see a companion. Probably not because of that weird push into a wizard. Mm, okay. God, Arbiter? Jeez. Armory. Okay, you know what? Out of everything, we'll, we'll take the armory. Um, we'll also try to get him to come into our face a little bit with his questing knight so I can lure for a Mordok. Banshee's doing diddly squat up there for some reason oh into the robins robins is pretty nice for some ramp but i don't know man is it going to be enough to deal with the mordok here because of course mordok hitting the board doing the six bada bing bada boom oh and there goes the armory you know what i'm feeling i'm feeling ballsy here to be able to do this just because we got rid of the armory <laughs> oh not smart on my part but hey i don't want him getting more gold off the robins that he needs so we're gonna just stop that there he'll set up another one okay so nothing gained nothing lost really Mordok going into the banshee here we'll generate the big boy wraith that's what we like to see here great stuff great stuff flame shield for the wolf too oh, all right and then, of course, probably going to be, yep, some shield runner blocks here. Yeah, make makes sense. Makes sense. Um, hmm. I think we just kind of end this with a Mordok again. As my, I mean, we're taking a lot of damage here, but I, I think I think we do. We do this there. Take out the armory. Yep, go into the shield runner. Yep, do some great things. And then, yeah. Yeah, uh, I feel like probably a bit unfair uh, in the matchmaker to do that, but 
we'll walk away with the win there. And geez, we had a lot of late game stuff too. Two Arbiters and two Craxuses. I do feel bad on this match. This was not a match that was going to go well for him. But uh, hey, we walked away with it, which is fine. Let's go ahead, jump into our next matchup and see how that one's going to turn out. All right, in match number three, the grip looks good. Let's go ahead and roll with that as we've got an interesting start to our hand. Uh, do I want a coin into a priest early? I don't think I do. I think I'll save the coin. Uh, I mean, it is, while well, I'm talking now, I mean, it is red, yeah, yellow, again, for some reason. So, <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It's terrible how we keep finding these. I don't know why. I, I just don't know why. Uh, Scout comes out. It's going to be a great opportunity for us to actually connect with this Ramrus. That'll uh, give the priest just enough power to swing right over the Scout. Beautiful stuff there. Scout's an interesting choice. Didn't think people were still running around with him. And again, we did see him in our last match. So, could be making a bit of a comeback there. Inspire goes for... Oh, the card he needed to hit. That's a shame. Um, let me go into the Northlands Bear and hold the Ramorous back and see what kind of response this warrants. I could have gone to like a Bestial Rage to protect and kill off the Questing Knight, but I feel like this is better. Okay, Priest comes out, disintegrate against the Bear, so that leaves the... Oh, alright. All right, that is fair, although unfortunate. Uh, I think I just have to go into a second bear, right? See if this one gets burned off by anything. A lot of early units, though. I'm not seeing a whole lot more burns like Flamestorm, although. Okay, yep, second second disintegrate, following up with a... Ooh. All right, we'll get the pillar follow-up. Interesting. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for Book Wizard. See if we can bait out a blue fire bolt while we're here. Yes, no. Thoughts? Priest, okay. It's gonna give his cast up his pillar an additional point of health, although... Pillar not gonna be doing too much. God damn it, Slash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you creature. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and I guess just keep going despite Slash showing up and saying hello. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and bop pillar. Bop with books here. Go into the. Well, he's, uh, he's distracting me. Uh, <laughs> Help. <laughs> God damn it, Slash. Okay, Dragon's Fire. That's going to do a lot of work here. Okay. Very nice Dragon's Fire. That's unfortunate. That's not a bad pickup, though. Go Manicore into Taurus to start rebuilding our hand. Hopefully, the Blue Fire isn't sitting in hand. Come on. Ooh, crumbling. Crumbling Paladin. Alright. That's not the hand I want to see, though. Uh, can we do something like... That's what I can do. Bestial Rage, right? Pop Manicore in first. Do this. Pop the Paladin. Hell, I also could just do this and put him on a uh, top deck kind of thing. Might be too aggressive for me, but I'm confident that I'm going to keep my Taurus up. And if not, I get to blame Slash because he distracted me with the Steam messages. Oh, no. Arbiter. That is unfortunate. Oh, what? <laughs> you such an ass. Game, why? I guess we'll keep it there. 
That was not the top deck we were looking for. Goddamn Lumberjack of all things. Okay, Books hits the board. Needs more than that. Oh no. I'm not gonna let you keep this, my guy. Hope you know that, unless this is one gigantic ass bait, but at that point I don't really care because I'll just go throw the griffin out. Let's see if he let's see if he can understand that the last card I have in hand is Medal of Bravery. <laughs> okay, he's going for the blue fire there, so it tells me he just kinda top decked it and then goes to the dragon's fire. Ooh, so just able to outlive the uh, the combo of burn there. Beautiful stuff. Uh, we'll go for the armory over the arbiters because I feel like we can sink in some more big damage here. Now we're gonna go into do uh, what's it called? Sudden death draw, double draw. Yeah, that's the D word I'm looking for. Incinerate. Okay, cool. Monk. So get some castle healing. Good for him. Uh, what are our draws looking like? Ah, uh, not too bad to be honest. Big Griffin, Lumberjack. Those are a good pickup, especially since we're dealing with more burn here. Hopefully he can stop picking up heals so we can just Arbiter to end the game, but seems unlikely for running things like Monk. Do we have anything like Church in the deck? Nope, got Reclaim though. Where the hell did Reclaim come from? Um, This gives two... Is there anything that we could pick up off the Lumberjack? Or should I just sink in the... I think I should sink in the... I probably... I should have... <sighs> Stupid. That was dumb. <laughs> I should have hit first with the... Um, with the books to deal one less to Griffin. Stinky me. Uh, Mordok hits the board. Okay. Ooh. Nice pickup, but not hitting the right target. Um, yeah, and that ends the game right there. The Arbiter Blessing. Coming in, dealing, well, five on its own, but let's just slap on the seven. We, we end our own battles here. We don't let sudden death deal damage. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take the win through that. All right. Last that slash, if you were, if your messages uh, cost me the match, that I was going to be upset with you, but I guess not. Let's go ahead, pop it in number four, see what kind of work we can get done there. All right, match number four underway, and I swear it's either going to be Warlock Crusader or Druid Pirate for these runs, because we're just finding all of them today for some reason. Uh, not bad grip. Could be much better, though, with, you know, a two-drop. Instead, we've got this. Uh, and he'll go early into the Merchant's Estate. Interesting. Not wasting any time here, are we? I mean, that's fair, but... I don't know. That's that's a little concerning. Oh, into the Manticore. All right, looks good. Looks good. Go into a blacksmith of our own. See if we don't got the uh, knockout for this. No, please don't be actually considering a knockout. I'm gonna be very sad. Uh, no. And he hits the RNG off of it. That's frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is a boy to do? Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to just go into Spiny Blessing here. I'll probably make this trade because I'm running out of options. Uh, the Mordok and Kraxis are fine pickups, but really coming in late here. Uh, what else we got in that hand? Come on, I I can do it. I I'm a I'm a big boy. I could face what's coming. Come on. Don't just say we're gonna. Okay. Alrighty, we're gonna go right for castle. Don't know why, but here we are. Unless we have removal for the spiny, if that's what we're considering, like a murder probably. Oh no! Right. Oh. Oh. Stop. Why are we doing this? Who did this? D oh, no. Oh, no. His wraith flew up. I just saw the flick upwards. Probably a misclick there. That's 
gonna be unfortunate. Uh, oh, can I even capitalize on that? I don't think I can. Actually, no, I, uh, oh yeah, no, I can, I can. As long as uh, both of these units stay alive. Armory can connect to both of them and remove them, but yeah, I, I feel your pain, man. I'm here for you. Misclick, misclick gang represent. Beast, I better see you in the comments for that. <laughs> okay, he goes for a call for aid. That's definitely not good for us. Nuh uh. I don't like the look of that. Um. You know what? I think it's better for us to actually play. You know, this. We're gonna shoot back like what? One, <laughs> one space. Uh, but I think we need to get a Taurus up here for more draw. Because this hand is hurting, man. This hand is absolutely hurting for your resources. Uh, if he's got nothing better to do, he's probably going to go into a Northlands Ranger to kill off the Spiny, I imagine. Or just go in the opposite lane and be a real nuisance. Or it just takes out my Taurus because that's the mood we're feeling today. God damn it. Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to be like that, huh? gonna be like that I'm just with my spine down here you can't touch him he a, he a bad ball of spikes no oh, that was bad oh is this like rain oh no if this is range rampage that's definitely not a good sight to see uh. I mean he literally move it to the same threatening position the spiny can't move as much oh god and a dwarven sharpshooter what in the whose deck is this who did this who did this oh god damn it i do not like the position this deck is in uh oh. Is he going to be able to take out Craxus is the question. Yeah, there's no explosion on you. Let's see what happens here with Craxus. Obviously, Execution can't slap this bad boy. Daggerstorm can. Okay, thankfully we're not hitting the Craxus multiple times. We'll see what he goes for here. I imagine he'll probably just keep things where they are. A spiny's not really a threat to him. It's just moving around on the board. And if he moves it closer, yeah. I, I don't get that one. Nope. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. He's just going to set up a lot of control for himself on the board that we're not going to really be able to penetrate super well. Less. Don't throw the cracks for the board dog. I think I want the cracks. Yeah, I definitely want the cracks. Let's see where this goes. I'm going to try and get a bit more aggressive on him and see where this takes us. Probably not the best idea, but really against something like this where they're going to set up so much control against me with range. I, I have to start making a push somehow with big units or else I die. I have to break it somehow and I'm just hoping that maybe he gets a little too scared to really make a huge move. Oh, he slapped that, so already not off to a good start on the board if that's the first move he decides to make he still has another ranger i believe in hand so we haven't seen that yet okay that's okay that's toxic oh my god that's so toxic oh my god i hate that play 
Oh my god, that's gonna ha that's how we're gonna lose. F are you kidding me? That's such bullshit. God, that's such bullshit. Uh, if he's got an armory, it's game. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. The double forest watcher to clear the Craxus. Oh. <laughs> that's such bullshit. Okay, yep. And then you're just gonna walk back and take out the Banshee. I think we're just gonna lose this game. Yeah. Unless we're gonna be an ass and just take out all this stuff. That was the right play. He wants to take out the armory then. So that's just keep it there, because why not? Alright, buddy. I didn't really do anything anyway like this, so. Ah, oh, that sucks. The double forest watcher. That's so stupid, man. God, I hate it. But I, I mean, I had the right idea. I had to get aggressive. I had to push. But, you know, oh, God, man, I don't even want to think about this game anymore. All right. One loss. Hopefully it doesn't hurt us too much. Let's just uh, get into match number five here and see if we can do any little bit better. All right, and off to a terrible grip to open us up. And another god... Okay. I swear, I I told you. It's either... It's either green, white, or yellow, red today. Those are, like, my only options in games for some reason. And I swear, if this is another range control, I'm going to be extremely frustrated. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, can I do anything about that? Let me just do this real quick. Okay, I can. I just want to double check with my movement, make sure I'm not tripping up. I don't want to commit to that type of play just yet. Mm -mm. Not yet, anyway. I do want to get a fat bear on board. This I do want. Probably should have thrown up top so these rats can't interact with it. Eh. Okay, blacksmith. Cool. I don't know why you just leave the castle open like that, though. I get the Tarius established now because I need some more card cycle going on here. He's going to have to put everything into the board if he wants to murder the uh, Tarius. So it looks like he's not going to. We're going to see probably what? Trent and two rats? At least. Yeah. We're going to see Trent and two rats. Which is fine. Cool with me. I get to set up a armory wolf on my end. Do a little bit of fun there. Uh, what am I expecting to see here? Ooh, not that. Okay. That's cool. Bit of a weird position for it though, no? I'll go in here, I'll set up the bear, I'll set up the books up here to ensure that we actually pull off the draw. You don't have to reanimate in this. You have Fenrir maybe? Oh, Fenrir could be the card. I think it's gotta be Fenrir. There's a ranger. God, why are you playing things so off position? Like, what's the big catch here? Uh, does this just kill him? I think it does. <laughs> we blessing bear. 
eight, four. Yeah, this kills him. All right. <laughs> a little anticlimactic there with all the setup, but I mean, that's what the blessings are for. Ah, not bad. Not bad for number three. Who are we leaving off at? 3321? You know what? We'll take that. For as annoying as the rampage, yeah, the range game was in the last, in the previous matchup, for us to get 33 to uh, 21 here is a good sign. Uh, the deck wasn't hurt too much by that loss, and hey, you know what? At the end of the day, I'm happy with it. We'll push it up to 34 next season, perhaps, because these games overall were quite strong. So again, happy with the deck's performance. I think that's going to be a good place to end it off for today. So let's go ahead and close out this video. All right, folks, that's going to do it, of course, for the Piss Zoo for February 2021. Let me know what you guys thought of that by leaving your thoughts down in, this, uh, in the comments section below. And if you're down there, if you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Share with your friends, of course, subscribe if you're new or haven't done so. It's the best way that you can show your support the channel and help us grow. So with that being said, guys, that's going to do it for me for now. So until next time, stay gaming.